From a scary backyard clown and a deflated balloon of a dreadful clown to a murderous clown that almost cut off a human's nose, there are some horrifying and unnerving stories about creepy clowns. Although the primary goal of the clown profession is to provide much needed joy to the world, we wouldn't be naive if we ignored the frightening clowns who appear in most cases. How could those red noses and evil smiles not be cause for suspicion after all? Are clowns jovial and harmless? Prepare yourself for some incredibly insane makeup and high-pitched scary laughs. Never complain that we didn't warn you. This is the scary disturbing clown stories for a rainy night. Story 1. The Creepy Clown I was a freshman in high school when this occurred. I was living at home at the time with my parents and older sister. We were in a neighborhood that I would characterize as quite ordinary. Our garden was somewhat large, but the area was still quite populated. One evening, my sister was in her room, my parents were in the living room, and I was at home playing video games in my bedroom. I used to enjoy playing video games in my room, where I had a nice setup with a TV, a large monitor, and a gaming chair. I was playing a long game when I saw a loading screen. I sat back in my chair to stretch, and I happened to glance out my bedroom window to the right. The window overlooked the backyard, where there was a little wood. When I peered out there, I noticed something. It appeared as though a clown was watching me from just within the trees. It appeared like there was a clown there, so I got up from my chair and went over to the window, even though at first I was convinced that wasn't the case. I kept looking and squinted my eyes to see better. With my perspective improved, I could see that there was a clown present. Somebody was donning a clown mask. It was really unsettling to see the clown staring directly at our house, possibly through my window, as it stood just a few feet into the woods. However, I left my bedroom and hurried into my parents' living room, telling them about the clown-dressed man I had seen in the backyard. They followed me to the window of my bedroom, but by the time we got there, it had vanished. I told my parents everything, including where he was. After that, we all walked outdoors and explored the backyard. Despite my intense phobia, we were fortunate not to see or hear anything while we were there. Our backyard's woods didn't extend very far, about 20 feet before there was a fence. I assumed that the man who had been in our backyard had passed via the neighbor's yard, or had at least left our yard. We all returned inside, not knowing for certain who he was or what he was doing back there, and I resumed my activities, occasionally glancing out my window. The following few days passed normally with no indication of the clown, but less than a week later, I found myself alone at home while my sister was at a friend's house and my parents had left to visit friends. It was the same arrangement as the last time I played video games in my bedroom, which was probably around 9 o'clock at night. I noticed the clown guy again when I happened to glance out my window, which was approximately 15 feet to my right. This time, he was considerably closer and not in the center of the backyard. He turned to face me and was staring straight at my window, so I sprang up, hurried over, and put my shades down. Then, because I had no idea what to do, I hurried out of my bedroom. When I told my parents about it over the phone, they suggested that I call the police if the guy didn't get out of the garden right away. I then peered out of a different window, but I was hoping that since I couldn't see the guy anymore, he had departed. After I hung up with my parents, I peeped out of multiple other windows. I didn't see the clown, then I headed back to my bedroom. When I was walking in, I heard a knock at the front door. I went over and checked out the front window and saw the clown. He was positioned on the front step. I choose to ignore it and walk away from it. After putting on my headphones and heading back to my bedroom, I made myself stick to playing video games exclusively until my parents returned home. By the time they arrived, the clown had vanished. I never opened my bedroom window again after that night. For several weeks, I also avoided spending time at home by myself because I felt too uncomfortable. I don't know if the clown person ever made a return, but I never saw or heard from him. Are you afraid of clowns? We're just getting started. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel, Top Scares, where we give you intriguing, scary, and horror stories that would make your night super cool. You can also like, share, and comment on this video. Let us know your opinion about clowns. Story 2. The Weird Ballon Clown 
I was informed by my closest buddy that this terrifying nightmare was real. He was employed at a Walmart located not too far from our residences. We both reside in the same community, since he is a stockman and must move around the store all the time. He typically ends his workday at 11 p.m., so he was hungry and exhausted when he got off. Before leaving, he has a practice of picking up food at the deli and eating it in his car. He was so hungry after getting his food that he made his way to his car in the enormous parking lot and parked it farthest from the entrance. The Walmart parking lot was empty and peaceful around 11 o'clock at night. He was so hungry that he got into his car, opened his bag of deli food, and started to eat when there came a knock on the passenger side window. When he looked up, he saw this ominous looking clown staring out the window. It would have been unsettling to see anyone, but this eerie clown was horrifying. He was not going to unlock the door or open the window, but this guy just continued staring at my friend from inside the vehicle. The clown had a bundle of balloons in his hands. This act could have been entertaining if it hadn't been so late at night and it had been during the day, but at this late hour in an empty parking lot, it was simply alarming. The clown persisted in moving his painted face towards the window. Additionally, he could hear the clown yanking on the door doorknob, even though it was securely shut. The clown then wrapped his hand firmly on the glass. At this point, my friend took the wheel and simply drove off. Nevertheless, he was able to see the clown speeding off in his rearview mirror. He was relieved to be free of that unsettling clown, but he was also a little scared as he drove home. However, when he parked his car at home, which wasn't far from Walmart, he saw that the clown had used a string to attach a red balloon to the handle of his vehicle. But now for the really scary bit. After popping the balloon, he removed it from the door handle. He discovered there was something within the latex when it deflated. He was startled and almost lost his balance when he took out what appeared to be a piece of paper and examined it. It was a midnight photo of him. He still doesn't know who the scary clown was. However, after that horrible experience, he stopped closing at night and also stopped eating inside his car. Story 3 Summer Scary Clown In the summer of 2018, I turned 14. I was a resident of a Wisconsin tiny farming town that was close to Green Bay. I worked a part-time summer job at Home Depot throughout the day, loading vehicles and trucks and wheeling carts back to the entrance from the parking lot. It was a nice place to work, and since I knew a lot of the clients, I felt like I was helping people and having fun, plus the pay was decent for a young guy like me. I walked every day to and fro, which was about a mile away. I made the most of the training because, in all honesty, it kept me physically ready for school sports in the autumn, so I didn't mind at all. I usually ended my work days at 9 o'clock at night when the business closed. That was still pretty much daylight in Wisconsin during the summer. This was approximately the time of dusk and moonrise at the end of summer. The road that connected my house to the store had a small number of houses. As I indicated, the store is on the outskirts of a little town. Because of the rolling terrain in this area, the road has no shoulders and rolls similarly. The foliage is dense on both sides of the road and the trees are closely spaced. Even though I've done it so often, I no longer find it frightening after dark. However, I heard an unsettling sound when I was about two-thirds of the way home. It was past sunset and the moonlight was still shining through the woodland at a very low angle. I froze in place and paid close attention. It was strange, but it kept coming back, like a kind of cracking chuckle. I waited for it to come back to figure out what in the world it was, but it never did. As expected, I walked the remainder of the way home. As I was walking the same way back to my job the next day, I was a little behind schedule, so I was moving swiftly and was only looking at the road's edge in front of each step when I noticed a brilliant red ball on the side. It squeaked as I lifted it up and gave it a little squeeze. That nose was immediately recognizable as a clown's. That seemed strange to be out here by the roadside equal sign. I thought, perhaps a child had dropped it out of a vehicle window or something, but I tucked it inside my pocket. I dressed up and played around with the drivers at work. When I gave it a nose whack, it made a few others laugh and smile a lot. 
I had a great day, checked out at my regular time, and headed home on foot. About two-thirds of the way, there was something odd on the road once more. The moon was low, making it difficult to see, and some ground fog further obscured the road. It disappeared as I approached, so I assumed it was a scared deer. The forest appeared to be moving, so I assumed it was still around. But this was something much more sinister than a deer. I would have turned around then if I had known. I heard footsteps in the mist behind me as I approached the spot where I thought a deer had leaped into the woodland. This was genuinely unsettling. As I turned to look at the sound, I noticed this clown standing in the center of the street. You possess an item of mine, and I need it back, he stated with a peculiar head tilt and a gravelly voice. I said, stammering awkwardly, I don't possess anything of yours. This was when the event turned from eerie to terrifying. The clown declared, I'm going to take your nose because you have mine. And he lifted his hand to expose a big knife that resembled a machete more than a knife. I was turning and running before I could get a good look. Even though I was in excellent physical condition and capable of running quite quickly, I could hear this clown gaining ground on me as he followed me. I overheard him chuckling frighteningly. As the pulse of adrenaline raced through my veins, I exerted every effort to create a physical separation between us. Lungs of flesh were exploding. Just as he was about to seize my shoulder, the headlamps of a truck flooded my field of vision as it rounded a corner. As I raised my arms and waved them in terror, the driver came to a complete stop. With a quick glimpse over my shoulder, I failed to notice anything in the headlight beam. No clown, nothing, not even a jester. I told the truck driver what had happened and thanked him for stopping. After he called the police, they arrived and conducted a search, but turned up no leads. My worst nightmare came true with this. I learned of additional terrifying incidents involving clowns emerging from the woods and pursuing people through the press in the months that followed. It turns out that a cult of clowns existed in 2018 with the express purpose of terrifying people. I'm not sure if that is accurate or not. All I know is that I experienced it, and I was genuinely terrified. Now, you may think clowns are just for fun and entertainment, but have you seen an evil clown that just wants blood? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And do you also know that most houses have a secret room where evil occurs? Check that out in our previous video. When people find creepy hidden rooms in their houses,